Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I blow dry my hair from this to this big fluffy afro. So if you're interested in seeing the steps that I take and how you can also achieve this look, keep on watching. So as always, I'm starting on freshly washed and deep conditioned hair. The only product that I have in my hair is the Kanzu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream. I will have all the products that I used in this video down below. I applied my leave-in conditioner while I was in the shower. So now I'm just sectioning my hair off into smaller sections so it will be easier for me to work with. Before I start blow drying, I like to rake my fingers through my hair to try to get as much of the shed hair that I would have missed in the shower out of my hair. And then for my heat protectant, I'm using this Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Intensely Smooth Leave-In Conditioner Cream. This protects your hair up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm sealing all that moisture in with this castor oil from Kayuni. I'm just taking a little bit and making sure that all my strands are completely coated not forgetting my ends And then I'm just going to twist my hair up and continue this process throughout the rest of my hair. While twisting my hair, I'm ensuring that the sections are more or less the same size because I'm going to be using these twists to do my blowout. So I'm not going to be splitting my hair through down. So just keep that in mind in case you're going to be following these exact same steps. I'm using hot and high heat to blow dry my hair. Guys, I don't typically use the comb attachment for my blow dryer. I just find that it puts a lot of stress on my hair. So I prefer to just hold the ends of my hair and then use the blow dryer to guide um to guide the heat down my hair. But I don't um, use any sort of comb attachment. And then when I'm finished, I just detangle my hair and twist it up again. I'm in need of a serious trim. I am going to get that soon. I'm just waiting on the hairdresser to come off of maternity leave. <laughs> And it's pretty simple this process while well, doing this process this way it takes me probably around 30 to 40 minutes whereas before it would take me upwards of two hours to blow dry my hair and I always get perfect results every time I do it this way
Once I'm finished with the blow drying process, I just unravel all of the twists that I would have installed, brush them out, and then that's it. A super quick, easy to follow process, and I get perfect results every single time. If you guys are interested in seeing how I style my blowout, definitely subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the next video because that's coming up next. Thank you so 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 much for watching this video. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye bye!